Hello, everybody out there. How are you doing? This is Michael Davis with another video, another installment. I have to warn you, though, um, I'm caffeinated. Typically, I don't do videos while on caffeine, um, but I'm I'm highly caffeinated. I'm going to show you. Yeah, <laughs> I drank a couple of these. All right. I want to talk to you guys about one of the universal laws. Maybe you know about it, maybe you don't. But it's up to me to inform you of something very important. I implement it in my life and it has worked out tremendously for me. I study universal laws. There's 12 of them. And this law is called the law of rarity. The law of rarity. And pretty much it entails things that's rare in nature is more valuable. I'm going to reiterate that. Things that is rare in nature is more valuable. And you see, people who try to sell you things knows that. That's why a lot of time when they market items, they say limited time only. Limited time means that it's rare. Okay? Limited means that there's not many. And limited time means you have a certain amount of time to get it. You see, so it's more valuable. Okay, when they say that's why you know retro Jordans, people go nuts trying to get retro Jordans, not the ones that come out on time. People don't rush to get those. People rush to get retro Jordans. Why? Because you, there's only a limited amount in supply. There's only a limited amount in supply. So people value it more. Now here's a little twist. Here's a little twist. Caffeine is kicking in. That goes for anything in life. Why do you think people who are reserved when they finally do talk people listen they take heed to what the quiet guy is saying but if you was loquacious instead of laconic if you was loquacious instead of laconic people want too much care you know about what you say because you know you're very talkative I mean they will care but not to the extent as when a person who's reserved speaks. Same way, same thing applies to if you go over somebody's house once or twice a month or every other month, they are very excited to see you. But the more times you go over that person's house, they're not going to show that same enthusiasm they're not going to show that same enthusiasm why because they've acclimated themselves to you coming over it's not that they you know depreciate you no they they just used to you coming over sometimes you can wear out your welcome sometimes you can wear out your welcome you see so anything that's rare is more valuable because it's rare that our minds are wired like that we are wired like that to want thing that's that's rare why do you think paintings cost man this paintings it was a it was an Andy Warhol painting that sold for 59 million dollars look it up 59 million dollars 
$59 million. Leonardo da Vinci paintings, sales in the millions. Picasso, sales in the millions. Van Gogh, sales in the millions. Why do you think people pay $30, $40, $50 million, $70 million for a painting? Because it's rare. Do you think if there was 300 Mona Lisas in circulation, somebody would pay I don't know how much the Mona Lisa sold, but this is I'm just, you know, making a statement. Do you think somebody would pay 30 million dollars for it? Please don't please don't say that I said it. I'm just guessing. I don't know how much it costs. But do you think somebody would pay that much money for it? If it was 100, 200 of those in circulation. No. People pay that much money because it's rare. Certain diamonds cost millions. Of, because it's rare. It's a rare jewel. So make your words rare. Make your appearances rare. You would be more valuable to, society, to the world. You will be. I study these things. I study these things and I apply it. You know? Like I can't like if I started making videos three times a week, you guys would well I'm not gonna generalize, but statistics show that my viewership would probably go down because you know, but if every two weeks or something like that my viewership would probably go up because it's like, wow, he's we haven't heard from him in a while. Let's see what he's saying. You see what I'm you see what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna do that. I drop when I feel like it. When I feel compelled to drop a video, that's when I uh when I drop one. But try it, I man, try it. Try it. Okay, that's all I wanted. And another thing, guys. I forgot what I was going to say. Caffeine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Caffeine is a hell of a drug. I even, be, I, I even was eating coffee. Chocolate covered coffee beans. I read a lot. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Um... I was very caffeinated in this video, so I've probably made some um, some uh, errors. You know, everything I said was facts, though. But you know, my uh, presentation, you know, might have been flawed a little bit. But I just really wanted to share that with you guys. The law of rarity. Apply it and see how it works out. You know what I'm saying? Michael Davis, and I'm out. Peace.